Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to restore to factory settings the Curdine S8 wireless earbuds. But before we begin, I wanted to talk about some different things. First, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And before you ever put these earbuds into your ears, you need to make sure that the Bluetooth volume on the device that the earbuds are connected with is at a low enough level that you won't damage your hearing. And second, I do have other videos about the Curdine S8 wireless earbuds, and I'll link two of those videos at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. I also plan to post future videos about the Curdine S8 wireless earbuds, so if you're interested and have time, please check back for those videos. Okay, next we need to make sure that Bluetooth is turned off on any of the devices that the earbuds are connected with. And after that's done, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the earbuds are turned on. And I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can do that. Right here on this earbud and right here on this earbud are the haptic buttons. And to turn the earbuds on, we're going to press and hold the haptic button on each of the earbuds until the earbuds turn on and the indicator light on each of the earbuds is flashing red and blue alternately. And when the indicator light on each of the earbuds is flashing red and blue alternately, the earbuds are trying to connect to each other. And once the earbuds are connected to each other, only one of the indicator lights on one of the earbuds should flash red and blue alternately. Okay, so these earbuds are turned off. I'm going to turn these earbuds on now. Okay, next we need to press the haptic button four times on either one of the earbuds. And when we do this, the indicator light on each of the earbuds should turn on. And to me, it looks like a light red color. I think what's happening is the red and blue lights are turning on at the same time. Okay, I'm going to do that now. All right, and the last step is to remove any of the Bluetooth information from any of the Bluetooth devices that the Curdine S8 wireless earbuds were connected with. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have other videos about the Curdine S8 wireless earbuds, and I'll link two of those videos at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. I also plan to post future videos about the Curdine S8 wireless earbuds. So if you're interested and have time, please check back for those videos. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.